ministry for the faint-hearted. The education ministry is not a ministry for the faint-hearted, starting from your house to the field and to your house. The competency-based assessment, as I already said before, the fact will account for 40% of the candidate's final mark, while the remaining 60% will have come from the Even this examination I'm presenting you did not leak. Many of you would have hoped that it leaked so that you can provide things you are going to write about. But unfortunately, it did not leak. I also wish to assure my successor that I've ensured that the Grade 6 National Assessment is ready and all that is, uh, is required is to oversee the administration. My plea to the next government, whichever it is, is to encourage it to ensure continuous security of our examination process until the CBC is fully grounded. Of the rearranged academic calendar that was forced upon us, the administration of the December 22 examination will effectively mark the end of the rearranged academic calendar, the traditional was... academic calendar starting in January and ending in November of each year. I wish to thank the stakeholders, starting with the parents, the learners, and the teachers. But above all, I want to thank His Excellency the President for being bold enough to bite the bullet when everybody was singing the opposite song. I think in leadership, what I've learned from President Kenyatta is one thing, that decision-making process is perhaps the most important aspect of leadership. So he made a decision to bite the bullet and while some people wasted up to two years, we are going to go back to normal in some months' time. I also do not want to forget our teachers, whom we don't, nobody can compensate them. So let me not hear teachers saying, oh, we are not being paid enough. Who, who the hell do you think is being paid enough? <laughs> nobody is paying me to work for 16 hours a day. So you should also do the same, and most of them are doing so. And we are proud of them, Dr. Macharia. And we pass that message to them. I want to thank the President for offering the Ministry all the support out of the broad, that has enabled us to carry the broad reforms. And let me be very fair to His Excellency the President. I don't look like the person who will praise anybody. I'm not a praiser. I will not shift from one party to another. In fact, I don't have a party. Are we together? But I want to recognize this the President for the manner in which he has handled me as a cabinet secretary. He has never given me instructions that confuse me as if he's saying this and meaning this. He, every instruction he has given me has been towards the poor of this nation. So no one can gain say the fact that where the history is of this country is written. President Kenyatta's contribution to the education sector will comprise a myriad of chapters. And you can take that to the bank. Because it's not about politics. You can actually measure what has been done. The multi-agency uh, examination administration, the successful administration of this exam uh, for the last six years would not have been possible if we did not have a multi-agency approach, some of whom I will not name, some I will name because you see the policemen. Uh, basically, I want to recognize, first of all, my fallen colleague, uh, the late General Kayseri, who together with uh, Fred Matiani and Joe Muchevu started this process when I was recruited uh, to work at another level. And uh, we have continued to, to better the system. 
except that the Kenyans have refused to accept that the container system which we picked after I went around African countries, that we picked it in Uganda, has been watertight. The exam cannot leak. So I don't know wh whoever says the exam has leaked. Show us the paper the day before. It's a very simple thing they are doing, which even a man who failed the exam can do. Once the examination has left the container, then one or two teachers will go and take a photo and put it in the mtandao. But the children are already in the classroom. So now that we have stopped phone from going into classes, if you are stupid, continue to do so. And I want to warn here, ladies and gentlemen, I have a choice. My choice is to remain a cabinet secretary until tomorrow. If you choose to put your career online, we, are, we shall punish the children and we shall punish the teachers. Just wait and see. It's not a, a, a joke anymore. Because I think it is a criminal offense to confuse a youngster who is very intelligent. You want to send things in, in, in a phone when he's already inside and thinking. So those who are bold enough, who are doing so, who have already taken money from these people, must be prepared to face the consequences which are coming. I'm talking very firmly because there are some we have already caught. Not that the exam leaked, but your attempt, if you are caught with a cell phone, for example, there is a price you shall pay. And it's not a very sweet price. So if you are bold enough to try, go ahead and try. Even this morning, perhaps they tried. Tomorrow, if you like, you can try. And we shall catch you. And in less than two weeks, if you are a teacher, your job is gone. That's it. We must not forget uh, the 100% transition in line with the government, 100% transition. All these children, the 1,214,031, all of them will transit to high school. You will ask why. Some of them were caught colluding. Yes. Our law says if you catch a child colluding in primary school, for that subject, the child gets zero. For so that, that subject, the child gets zero. So that will bring the marks down. Uh, up to now, I don't think there's any child who was caught with the, all the papers. So even if you, you pass on only one, you will go to a school which is appropriate with you. Are we together? So, but they will pay for it, especially all those that... Uh, already the Minister has put in place uh, measures to ensure that a selection exercise is conducted soonest, and I dare say that uh, uh, within two weeks I would be wanting to know whether it is complete or not. You have no sleep until we complete that, uh, that subject. Now, when the legacy of His Excellency the President is written, the Lumu Scholarship Program will be written in it. And this program has enabled the poor children of Kibera, of Kiandutu, or what have you, of Kisumu, Children who are intelligent like I was, and who are poor like I was, and who had no chance of becoming a doctor and finally a CS like me, because the mandarins were around it. So they would, they would sell their positions. If you are taken in an alliance, people with money through pollution will buy your place and allow you to go to a high school near your area. We want to thank His Excellency the President for his wisdom that as we speak now, there are 18,000 children whose scholarships are for the four years, starting from 2019. And this means that those poor will also raise their families, because when they rise, they will rise with their families. And because of that, the President has uh, very gladly agreed this morning that we continue with another 9,000 beneficiaries this year, and so, uh, I am going to state here that uh, we should look for James Mwangi, and we start. And I don't. I, I will not be in my office. I will be with them. I want to be sure.
that it is that child who requires that scholarship that gets it. Because I am the, the best example. Are we together here? And I think, despite all the politics, let us give to Caesar what belongs to him. Because uh, originally that scholarship was supposed to be meant for other people only. His Excellency the President called me and said, no, go and look for the urban poor children. There are many children who are poor in the urban area. And I found very many of them. As far as irregularities are concerned, usually this primary school exam does not have too many irregularities because there is not high stakes. This time round, we had three directors to you. If there's anyone that belongs to interior, in the multi Yeah, I've forgotten your name. Mr. Mukwe, we shall hand over to you. So within the next two weeks or so, you will be hearing what <coughs> has been done as far as primary school is concerned. Of the, of the details, uh, 1.2 million candidates in 28,313 centers. Of these, we have achieved uh, gender parity, uh, 50.28 boys, 49.72% girls basically comparable to last year's. Now, during the 2021 uh, examination, 12 counties registered more females than males. It's very strange. Mombasa, Meru, Isiolo, Taraka, Nidhi, Nairobi, Wasengishu, Busia, Bungoma, Kakamega, Vihiga, Kisumu, and Siaya. In 2020, there were 20 of them. So it's like we thank God the, the male child is starting to come up. The number of countries who are absent this time decreased from uh, 12,424 to 11,500. The number of registered countries who are below age increased from 26,000 to 33,000. The counties that had the highest entry for these candidates is very strange, and I'm going to read them very carefully. Baringo, Gomez, Kericho, West Pokot, and Nyamira. Doesn't make sense, but that is the truth. I'm asking, why not in the urban areas? So these counties, except for Nyamira, recorded similar trend last year. So it means then that there is something happening there. Could it be due to some traditional activities that they do there? We will uh, do a tracer study to find out. The highest number of candidates came from the traditional years, over about 45% between 13 and 14 years. And when we jump to the over age, which is 19 years, they came from Turkana, Garissa, Kilifi, Kwale, and Mandera. Again, these counties, except for Mandera, recorded the same for last year. Performance per subject. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm happy to announce that six papers recorded an improved performance in the year 2021 as compared to 2020. These are English composition, Kiswahili Luga, Kiswahili Insha, Kenyan Sign Language Composition, Science and Social Studies. Three other papers, mathematics, English language, and religious education recorded a drop in performance when compared to 2021. Kenya Sign Language recorded a comparable performance between the two years. In terms of gender, the performance of male and female candidates was comparable. However, the females always defeat the boys in English and Kiswahili, and that has, they have maintained that. Male candidates uh, were better in uh, STEM subjects, Kenya Sign Language, Mathematics and Science, and Religious Education. Overall performance of the candidates. In 2021 examination, overall performance improved compared to 2020, although the highest mark dropped from 433 to 428. The mean average performance and quality of grades for all candidates is higher. 
For example, whereas 8,091 candidates, which is 0.68 percent, scored between 400 and 500 marks in 2020, the number increased to 11,000. 857, which is 0.97% in 2021. This is an indicator that most candidates scored better scores than the previous year. I wish to commend all teachers and parents and candidates for this good performance during the challenging period. The summary of the grades is as follows. It's on a table, which I will not read fully, but I will just mention. Uh, Four to five hundred, eleven thousand, eight hundred and fifty seven, three hundred to three ninety nine, three hundred and fifteen thousand, two seventy five, two hundred, two ninety nine, five hundred and seventy eight thousand, one ninety seven. Uh, gentlemen and ladies of the media will see it from the the list. I'm impressed that the mark range between the candidate the top ten candidates. It's only three points. The, actually, there are up to 14 candidates in order to make the top 10. But the mark range is only three points, and that tells you something. And I will read a few. The top candidate for this year's examination is uh, Magata Bruce McKenzie from Gilgil Hills Academy. He is at position one with 428 points. The second candidate is Momanyi Ashley Kerubo from McKinney School Kibos with 427 points. Number three is carried by six of them. So I'll just read maybe one because of time or two. Uh, Kuoma Charity Bahoya Buyanzi. Holy Family Misihu Girls Primary School. Uh, the next is Mbogwa Sharon Wairimu Muteti, Emmanuel Academy. Number five, which is also with three points, it's uh, Muteti Chantel Ndinda, Kitengela International School. Another one is 426 is Tali Otieno Mondi, Rofin Field Junior Secondary School. Number seven, also with the, which is basically number three, Wekesa Naomi, White Star Academy. Number eight, Kimani Ethan Karuga, Stepping Stones Preparatory, also with 426. Then the rest four are with 425, and the first one is uh, Njeru Joel Junior Musioka. Hey, Njeru Joel Junior Musioka. Nyagwa Primary School. Then Kirinya Murioki Victor, PCEA Mwimbi Boarding Primary School. Second last one, Diana Rose Natolo. First Beth Academy. And finally, Caberia Emmanuel Munene, New Bambini. So there are two, two others. Let me just finish them. Emmanuel Kiplang at Ngetich, Moi, High, Moi Primary School, Kabarak, and George Morris Otieno, Hill School. And that makes the list of 14, but basically number one, two, and three. Now those with disabilities had better spread out. For candidates with special needs, the top candidates had, had there are two in between uh, four to 500, but they have improved between 300 and 399, and they have up to 337 of them compared to last year when they are 318. And I think I will... Uh, just call a few of them.
right? I don't have the list of SNE candidates, but then I'll go to the candidates who are uh, top candidates in SNE. I have the list here. Bethany Tatila Migosi from Thorn Grove Academy with 417 points. Grace Nema Katana from Havila Academy Mutwapa Primary School. Kamau Jackson Degwa from Mudiria. Musioka Kings Kevin. All those have 401, the two of them are 401. Kadozweni AIC. Number five is Migosi Dominic Sese from Maunaro, 401. Number six is Maina Leighton Jagi, Olkalao Disabled, 399. Utieno Bara Konyango from St. Cecilia Olare in Homa Bay, number six. Mwachofi Eonora Mukawaindi. De Paul Catholic School, Kamulu. Number nine, Philip Karani, Likoni School for the Blind. And number 10, Dorcas Girono, St. Sophia, Kapchepokken, Kap Kap Primary School, 396. The number of candidates who sat uh, examination under special circumstances, including those who sat the examination in hospitals, decreased from 1,240 to 1,067. The most improved public schools whose candidates are greater than 50, I will read just a few per region. The first region is the coast region, Cambia Wire from 203 to 266. Central region, Njenga Karume from 207 to 248. Eastern Ngukuine from 165 to 250. Nairobi Cheleta from 213 to 263. Rift Valley Lenkishoni from 198 to 272. Western KWDB from 216 to 284. Nyanza Nyangiti from 170 to 232. And Northeastern Mandera DEB from 181 to 270. We encourage them and hope that they continue to improve. Ladies and gentlemen, accessing the KCP examination results, it is our tradition that the KCP examination results will be collected by respective schools from the sub-county education offices. Candidates should therefore collect their results from their respective examination centers. And let me warn the head teachers, both public and private. This is a Kenya government examination. You shall give the candidate his or her results. Talk about school fees on the side. Are we together here? You are keeping it, is it your school? <laughs> and is it your country? So can we give every candidate his results so that I don't have people coming up to my office that we give results from here? That is thoroughly inhuman. And I hope that is taken in the manner that it is required. Individual candidates' results can be assessed by sending a candidate's index number followed by initials KCP, the short term SMS to 276. 20076. This service will be available immediately after this event. Head teachers will be required to download and print the online result slips for candidates in their schools and authenticate the same before they release them to the parents and guardians. And it is the wish of His Excellency the President and also mine that every child gets his results. Deal with the parents later. Because as far as the public is concerned, primary school is free. Are we together? And even in the private sector, if you decided to take part, part of the work of government, Thank you for taking the work, but now you must give the result there the, to the child. It is now my pleasure, ladies and gentlemen, to declare the examination results for 2021 officially open. And just to hasten to say that uh, we are still in the field. 
And uh, as soon as this is done, I want all the officers who are here to forget about the ceremony and get back to work. May I now uh, CS request that you underwa that you receive uh, the CEO, please, the chair, the PS. <laughs> I want you at the center. You can now see the size 11 and above in practice. <laughs> I now invite uh, Madam uh, Imelda Baraza to offer to move the vote of thanks. Thank you very much, our Master of Ceremony, our CS, our invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. It's an honor for me to give this vote of thanks on this occasion of releasing the 2021 KCP results. Allow me to thank the Almighty God for this chance, given that last year, when we were releasing the results, we released amidst the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. I, and on behalf of the Kenya National Examinations Council and the entire Fraternity of Education stakeholders gathered here today, we extend our gratitude to all the speakers for gracing this occasion. Sir, so allow me to thank you specifically uh, for the work that you have done. You have enumerated for us the milestones that you have achieved. And I request, I request all of us here to put our hands together and just give a clap to our CS. <laughs> Sir, we have witnessed you work tirelessly, and we just want to cheer you on and say thank you very much for the work that you have done. On the same length, allow me to appreciate the CEO Teacher Service Commission, Dr. Nancy Macharia, for the immense support you have enabled us to work closely with the TSC. The teachers have enabled the process of examination administration right from setting administration to marking. They have been our engine and cornerstone for the examination administration processes, and we thank them for the sacrifice, hard work, resilience, without which we will not be able to release the results today. We also take this opportunity to convey our sincere appreciation to the Ministry of Interior and Coordination of National Government for all their support during the administration of the exams. We thank all the officers for the sacrifice and diligence without which 